Welcome guys to another episode of WWE once again. The last show before Royal Rumble and we are going to have a stacked show today. Finally we get to decide who goes up against Shayna Baszler for the Women's Championship. And we have got Walter vs LA Knight in just a match to showcase their abilities. Let's just say. Here comes the Jaws theme song. I do, I do like Gunter Callum. He, he's, a, he's a geezer, I should say. I haven't been a commentator for very long, about a week or so, but this is a very interesting entrance. I love it so much. Gunter's a, oh, a legend. By the way, you might see the United States champ, not United States, United Kingdom Championship on him. He will not have that. That I, I just forgot to take it off him. It is, like, look at him in the game. In real life, it's impressive how much he's lost weight. In the game, he just doesn't seem to have a neck. Look at him. He's built, Drunky to lad. Be fair. Here comes LA Knight. He's not the maximum male model that he is in real life. He is just LA Knight. Now, these two are, are, are wrestlers who, are, who I, I love. Their, I love their work. Walter Moore in-ring. LA Knight more outside of the ring. He's got good mic work, you know. But here we go. Chance to showcase their abilities. And Walter... Oh, Jesus. Okay. I didn't expect that. Walter straight off the bat running towards LA Knight. Walter's looking to put on a showcase here. I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna guess. He is There's a championship worthy wrestler. Massive bulk. Okay. Oh. I, I thought he missed it for a second. But he Not very it. effectively. <laughs> he ended up hitting the leg drop. He picks up LA Knight. And Ellie Knight just can't seem to do anything right now. Great suplex. Walter's just built, isn't he? Look at it's like his shoulders are connected to his head. What is this? <laughs> Another suplex. He's not known for his suplexes, he's known for his chest slaps, and look at him taunting to the crowd. Walter picking him up. Today on today's show, we will be Discussing what the Royal Rumble card will be. So throughout the show, stay tuned because we will show you what the card is. And who will be wrestling on the show. Of course, we'll have the male and women's Royal Rumble. So that will be something to be excited about. But we also have another four matches, six matches. Somewhere around there. I think it's six matches. So it'll be a five long episode pay-per-view. And what is Walter doing here? Oh, he's missed. Unlucky. He, he tried at least, you know. Oh, great dummy there. Not going to lie, Walter's dominating. So it's a very one-sided one match, but the crowd seems to love it. Walter. Oh, look. He is the ring general. Or shall I say, ring general. Like the Germans call it. Pardon my Jesus. pronunciation there, but we move. Ellie Knight, to be fair. Like... You know what? He might need to just stick to the mic right now because he's getting absolutely brutalized in the ring here. Great suplex once again from Walter. Ref just there watching his absolute beat down. What is Walter doing? Oh, God! Oh! Jesus Christ! Oh, my... Okay, you've never seen a big man do a drop kick like that, have you? I love Walter's drop kick. Walter, Gunter, same thing. Gunter, oh, Walter, you call him whatever you want. Oh, what's happened there? Oh, okay. We ha we've had a bit of a, of a glitch there, but we've got a <laughs> we're back. Another soup. Oh no, that's a Uranogi. That I think that's how you say it, at least. Classic Bray Wyatt move. He's going for the power bomb symphony, is he? No, he's just gone for a simple power bomb. No, he's picking back. Okay, Walter's just wanting to dominate here. Oh my God, Walter! And he Walter. is dominating. Walter's just. <laughs> Continuously, he hears finisher move already. He just doesn't care. Walter just walking around his opponent right now, picking him up. And once again with another clothesline, Walter. Oh, he's missed. He's missed the leg drop. Here comes LA Knight. Finally, we've got a chance. Nope, never mind. He tried, and it's a big boot. Unlucky LA Knight. Oh, he's back in the... You never know. He's back in the mix. No, no. Jesus Christ. I don't, I don't see him winning this. He's just unbeatable right now. To be fair, Callum, let's not say that after what happened on Raw. Oh, that that match, I'm still having... 
I don't know. Nightmares Finn, about Finn, it. That was weird. Finn Balor was having nightmares about the RKO, and he still ended up getting off that match with the championship. Pure entertainment. Uh, Walter was. just deciding to run into his opponent. And he, oh, he's on the top rope. Oh, Jesus. Let's pray for LA Knight. Oh, God. Um, We may need an ambulance by the end of this match. LA Knight is... Oh, God, he's busted open. Oh, look at his face. Oh, Jesus Christ. We will definitely... Oh, we might get a ambulance. discount on the ambulance after... Last night. I wonder if match, I wonder if matches can end in KO. Are you, oh, he's hanging him as well. This is just a brutal. Oh lord. Walter is actually just completely embarrassing Ellie Knight right now. What is he doing? He's just, oh really Jesus! Here comes the chops. Walter, known for his brutal chops. Oh Jesus Christ! What is he doing? Oh, he's missed. No, he's, he's, he, he hit it. Oh, God. Is he just going to continuously do this? Oh, no. He's gone. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's gone for the headbutt, I think, now. I don't know. <laughs> he just ran into his opponent. What is Walter doing? Walter just circling around his opponent like a shark right now. Another brutal chop from Walter. And once again, to the corner, LA Knight. Oh, Jesus. Halluva kick there. Shades of Sami Zayn. And here comes LA Knight. Back up on his feet and straight back down again. I think we're witnessing a murder at this point. Oh, never mind. He keeps reversing, but Walter... Oh, here we go. Breaking the action, finally. First off, we've got the Usos vs. The Street Profits for the SmackDown Championships. If you didn't watch SmackDown, go watch it. We've got a triple threat for the Universal Championship. That's going to be a huge match. A sm and also on SmackDown, we have got the SmackDown Women's Championship. Charlotte Flair and Shayna Baszler back to the action. We've we've got we've got Ellie Knight finally doing something here in the corner. There we go. Look at him; he's getting excited. He's finally done something. Oh my word! What <laughs> this <laughs> absolute roll? <laughs> oh God, Ellie Knight! I'm so sorry. I, 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 I like an LA Knight style though. You know, the red pants and the sweatband and also the face. Yep. <laughs> it's, all, it's, it's all working out for him. He is a ma maximum male model. So he, he, like, he likes to match the outfit. I don't think he was expecting the face to be this bloody though. Look at the, just look at the smear on the side of his face. Jesus. Oh God. He's gone. Going, this is it. Surely he's going for another power bomb. Oh, he's picking him back up. Oh, Jesus. Oh, not again. Can we... Uh, referee, just please... Oh, please tell me he doesn't kick out of this. Just for his sake. One, two, three. Oh, thank God. Thank the, wor the, the world that he's still alive. But <laughs> we have successfully seen a Walter domination here. Yeah. I think, I think when you're from the start of the battle... Well, hold on. Santos Escobar, Legado del Fantasma's leader, has just ran in on Walter. Now, after that performance, I don't think I would be wanting to run in on him. Super kick from Santos Escobar. What have we seen here? Is he calling him out? That's what I want to know. Walter just being sent back down and picked up again. This it was Santos Escobar, Jesus, is now embarrassing him. Ellie well, Knight is just recovering on the outside right now. He just can't do anything. What have we just witnessed? I cannot believe the scene. Let's just get straight into our next match. Oh, never mind. We shall talk about what's going to go on in the Royal Rumble. Rhea Ripley versus Bailey for the Women's Championship. Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley. And these are for the Raw Championships. And that is going to be confirmed. Legado del Fantasma versus Imperium. However, Imperium yet to have a member revealed. So we shall see at Royal Rumble who that member is. Let's get straight into our last match. It is the Battle Royal to decide who versus Shayna Baszler. Bianca Belair. Champion in real life. However, she need, she's going to need to earn that opportunity. I'm sorry, but how do you grow out your hair that long? It's probably an extension, let's be real here, but... Jesus. Yeah, I don't know how she doesn't trip on it when she's wrestling. Oh, here we go. Evil Alexa Bliss is back. Not with her stupid doll either.
That doll does creep me out, to be fair. I'm happy that she doesn't have the doll on her. Okay, this is a very creepy entrance. There we go, finally. Back to normal. There we go. Ric Flair's daughter, the arguably the greatest women's wrestler of all time. Charlotte Flair's coming out. Probably the favourite for this match as well. And she's had... She's literally just stuck loads of fabrics together for this. Yep. What is this? She's got her peacock robe on. I would say peacock have probably got a, a, a larger feathers. Like, it doesn't really cover much. No. Her head is as large as the feathers, to be fair, but... That's no fault for her own. It's whoever her costume designed. But oh, well. Doesn't matter anyways, because she won't be wearing that in the ring. All that's on her mind right now is getting to the Royal Rumble. And here we go. Next up. An NXT superstar making her debut on SmackDown. We have got Saray. If you don't know about Saray, she is an NXT UK superstar. For, formerly an actual NXT superstar, but she got downgraded, I would say. But now she's on SmackDown. And she's trying to make her an impression here against arguably the best wrestlers in the WWE in terms of females. And here comes another world-class wrestler in Asuka. I've got to say, compared to the first Battle Royal, this has got a couple of big names. That all of them could win it. Asuka. Now that, a lot of brick. <laughs> As always. Just deciding to wear the most confusing costume I've ever seen in my life. But that's how the Japanese do it. They like to be extravagant. And I don't mind it. Asuka. I, I don't know if she's the favourite. Because it is a battle royal. And she's she's more likely to win a normal match. But we'll see. And another. In real life she is on Smackdown. But another debut in this universe mode. We have got Zia Lee coming in. And Zia Lee. She does also like to be extravagant. The protector, as as most people call her. Not gonna lie, I don't think she's gonna be protecting anybody unless you can actually use those those little knives in the ring. It's a bit unfair. She's got knives on her. I would argue that's an illegal weapon. Flags to me. Oh yeah, never mind. No, nope. knives. I like how there's lightning bolts literally coming out of her, but we move. Here we go, battle royal. And already Asuka. Where they sit out power bomb on on Charlotte Flair. Another match that's gonna be hard to just keep an eye on everything that's going on in the ring here. And Bianca Bella getting absolutely pummeled, slapped, punched, and everything in between. Alexa Bliss is deciding to absolutely beat her. Oh here we go. Nope. Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss going for the elimination here. Oh my god. Well, that escalated quickly. Bianca Bella is officially eliminated. Oh, Jesus. Vicious slap. And Bianca Belair, um, that might be an upset, not going to lie. Already eliminated. Oh, and not going to lie, Zia Lee's, Zia Lee's leg there just saved Saray. Never mind. Alexa Bliss has just embarrassed two of the female... And Asuka's gone. Oh, my God. Okay. that This is going way too quickly for me. And Charlotte Flair could be out as well. Zia Lee looking to eliminate her. Alexa Bliss could help, but she's deciding not to. Oh, no. She's asking them to get back in the ring. Charlotte Flair hanging on by a thread, but I don't think Xia Lee's going to be able to eliminate. Oh, and they're both targeting Xia Lee here. Neckbreaker. Xia Lee's got an opportunity here. She probably wouldn't have an opportunity like this. Oh, and Alexa Bliss could eliminate her. Oh my god, Alexa Bliss has been sent over the top rope. And Xia Lee could be on the verge of getting a chance at the Royal Rumble. I don't fancy her chances because it's Shayna Baszler, but... We could be seeing Charlotte Flair versus Shayna Baszler. Or we could be seeing Zaya Lee versus Shayna Baszler. Charlotte Flair dangerously on the top rope right now. It's looking like it's going to be Charlotte there in this match. Never mind. <laughs> Good timing on that. The, the commentary was just jinxed Charlotte Flair's little top rope move there. Which I don't know what she was going for. Maybe just sit on her from the top rope. I don't know. But good neck breaker. 
Get, we're getting to see some in-ring action, despite it being a battle royal. Charlotte Flair with the classic queen chops here. Shades of her father, Ric Flair. And she, she's targeting the legs, even though she's not going to be looking for that figure eight leg lock. It is a battle royal. She needs to just chuck her over the top rope. And with the size of Xia Li, this shouldn't be too hard of a task. It could be seeing a shock though. Let's not let's not let's not completely count out Xia Li. Oh, and Charlotte Flair. I think this is it. You should look at the power from Charlotte Flair. Xia Li's probably on the verge of the crowds. Anticipating an elimination here. And they are correct. Charlotte Flair versus Shayna Baszler. Not the most exciting episode of SmackDown, but we did see another confirmed match for Royal Rumble. And here we go. Royal Rumble is now set in stone. We have our matches, and I'm excited.